my ninjas what's up this is the internet income ninja with another video to help you make money online if you like the content i'm sharing go ahead and hit the subscribe button smash the notification bell like comment and share and we're going to make this one as quick as possible because you guys have money to make so why waste time right so you are going to be applying for the position of a copy editor at info pro learning info pro learning is a company that dun, 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 we're actually waiting to go on infoprolearning.com okay so we're just going to look at their website real quickly and so that you can get a gist of what they're about they're going to explain it in the description but it's always good to get a feel of the company from their website so um there's it's a it's like a business oriented type of company that helps you progress helps you advance help you make improvement um you talk about human capital transformation so they're good with onboarding so that's when you onboarding is when you like you're preparing to start your role and there are a, a series of steps that you need to go through to get up to speed um, for your role so it's like coming on a ship you're going aboard you're onboarding right? so there's sales customer support operations transformation management learning stuff and then they have a wide range of of categories that they specialize in all right so you can see that they are the human capital transformation company so it's hr based and they focus on extending organizational capability and capacity to deliver transformational learning that's what they do all right so This gives you an idea of what they're about visually so that when you're thinking of this role, if this is not something you want to do, you don't like working with people, you don't like doing this sort of stuff, yeah, leave it alone. There's plenty of jobs out there. That's why this channel exists. There are plenty of ways to make money online. That's why this channel exists. And speaking of making money online, if you want to start your own online business, check the links in the description down below. You will be pleasantly surprised when you click on them and absorb the information therein. So go ahead and look at those so you can make money online. Now, back to the actual lead. Now you're going to be a copy editor. And for this particular job, they want people from the USA. So you can work anywhere as long as you're in the United States of America. Okay, so InfoPro Learning has an immediate contract opportunity for experienced copy editors. So it's a contract position, it's due or it lasts for a year, and it will be a seven to eight hour per week job role. Okay, so if you work five to six days a week, you're looking at roughly an hour and a half per day. Great, right? So four days, two hours a day. Um, five days roughly an hour and 15 minutes a day all right so here are your responsibilities as a copy editor at InfoLoop you'll review documents to ensure correctness accuracy consistency and completeness and I mean why not they're a professional company they don't want to see any grammatical errors in their websites they don't want to see any grammatical errors in their paperwork or any documentation that they'll have produced for the job okay you'll develop a style sheet or follow one that is provided okay and these usually take the form of cms or ap or mstp customer checklists etc you'll notify designers of deviations from any customer checklists You'll edit for grammar, spelling, punctuation, and usage. You'll check for consistency and continuity of content and facts. Americanization or other localization is needed. Identify potential copyright issues. So stylistic editing. Okay, so you're going to take what's seemingly boring and unilateral and flat 
and you're going to clarify some meanings ensure coherence and flow so make sure that different parts of the document agree with each other and make sure one idea flows into the next and they all relate okay so you'll clarify meaning ensure coherence and flow and refine the language you'll eliminate jargon cliches and euphemisms you don't want any um, pop culture talk or anything like that in the documentation it doesn't look professional so if there's anything in the documents or in any um, transcriptions or any, let me not say transcriptions but if there's any jargon or anything that um, might be off-putting especially or anything that may cause whoever is reading it to possibly be offended or may, maybe not even understand what's being said because there's a specific terminology that the company uses right you, they're going to get rid of those just eliminate eliminate those all right establish or maintain the language level or reading level appropriate for the audience medium and purpose so you maintain a particular language level if you're speaking with someone who is good with they're they're more skilled oriented their education is is up to a certain point you're not going to be using really big words no you're, you're not trying to say that these people aren't smart you're just keeping the content at a level that fits your audience and you're keeping the content at a level that is good for whatever medium this content is being transmitted to your audience through and you're also going to watch the tone you don't want to be putting out content through a particular medium where for example you're not going to be messaging a friend via text message or even a significant other explaining a very serious situation through text because certain words can be misinterpreted to mean something else and offenses are created so given the purpose of your communication text may not be the best it would be best to call you get me so if you're trying to convey a very serious situation the purpose is to help this person know about this particular serious thing text may not be the best situation phone call might be better in fact the best all right so i hope you understand what i'm meaning now they want you to adjust the length and structure of sentences and paragraphs establish or maintain tone which i mentioned just now mood style and authority authorial voice or level of formality comment on factors such as scenario validity believability characterization dialogue setting plot structure and relevance check the accuracy of facts citations and quotes by referring to the writer's original sources or to other authoritative sources and that was really quick because in and of itself it's a simple straightforward role but it's a very important role so they didn't need to take very long to explain what you need to do and this actually shows how serious this company is and how direct they are with their explanation with what they want to the point where it was that simple where it took me probably six seven minutes to explain the whole thing yes i expounded on a couple things but they know what they want they're very professional and if you are a very good copy editor you have some experience under your belt you live in the united states all right you're willing to work seven to eight hours per week for a year then apply they want professional people to represent them professionally so if this is up your alley hit this button fill out the application form or play your upload your cv resume cover letter um, and again there's a link in the description below for a tool called canva if you've never heard of it even if you've heard of it but never used it even if you've used it you can still click the link and check out what's new um, canva can be used to create very brilliant resumes very brilliant cvs they have a whole heap of templates a lot of templates to choose from you can wow people easily with using pre-made 
um, resumes and cover letters and curriculum vitaes. So check those out. Check this out. If this is still not something you're interested in, share it with a friend. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button, smash the notification bell, like, comment, and share. And I'll see you guys in the next one. And as always, let me know what you think of these, these different ways to make money. Let me know how your application process has gone. Let me know if you've gotten a job. Let me know if you haven't. Let me know some of the questions you've been asked in your interviews just so others can benefit. Just let me know in the comment section. And guys, let me know where you're from. It's always good to meet people from different countries. So again, stay safe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Peace.